I wanted to talk to everybody about what was the best times of your life. What were the happiest times of your life? I know mine. And it could be a, a particular incident that made you happy. It could be a, a decade. It could be a year that you had. It could be you was a certain age and you yeah. were young and you had freedom. I had a great time growing up. Did you? Yeah, yeah. And I worked in London as well. And just, yeah, just going out in London, different place to home and... It was just a different sort of like scene up there and it was great fun. Yeah, and you didn't have to worry about anybody or anything, just where you wanted to go. I would say, first time, first time I met her, did you want a name? <laughs> I was drunk. <laughs> so I could say, um, I was a, I'd do a lot of gambling in those days. I was pretty lucky. But I ain't won since. <laughs> you used all your luck meeting, huh? Yeah. yeah. Chrissy, happy times. Yeah. Well, my my life was a little bit different because I never sort of got out a lot. Um, because I put all my life into children. And when I left school I practically went in and I lived in as a nanny and my bosses were very good to me, so they took me to um a club once a week yeah, so I never sort of went round town pubbing and clubbing and it seemed to be the one place that's where I met Brian but I loved every minute of my job I brought up three little girls and we had wonderful times we went down to Frinton because we got a beach hut there and family lived right on the seafront they did and my boss's family so it was lovely uh, we were all in uniform then because nowadays nannies aren't. And I mean, we used to meet up with other nannies oh. and their children. But I loved <coughs> every minute of my job. And then, of course, when I met Brian, we went into fostering after we had our children. So children have been my life, and that is my happiness. And one good thing that really was quite happy was after I met well, Brian, I was, he was drinking, went out with his mates. He gave it all up when he met me. <laughs> Yeah, we can see how bad it is. I don't know why, but that was happy. I was so, you know, chuffed really, you know, that he did that for me. And if he used to come to see me, which was quite a distance from here, I don't even know Great Bromley. Yeah. If he started going and he's punctured his tyre, bike in the hedge and he'd walk it to see me. But my whole life has been with children more than... But I'm not saying I've regretted it at all. I never did. I loved it, and because when I had my stroke, I had to give up fostering, I'd still be doing it. Yeah. Because here, I still want to. Babies yeah. are just, ooh, to me. And I had 128 children, and the majority were babies. Mm -hmm. And I had my own as well. Yeah. So. Well, yeah. the eight. Yeah. <laughs> well done to you. That's fantastic. Yeah, done 35 years of that after I married. Wonderful. My happy time has been from 10 years ago to now. I could not have been happier in that time. It's been <sighs> absolutely perfect. I've had 10 years of just pinching myself almost mm. every single day. Oh, it's just lovely. I had, I had breast cancer oh. and, um, and I had an operation and I had some treatment for a month and that stops in February 10 years ago. And since then, I've spent those 10 years living life to the absolute possible. Oh, I've lived every day as if it could possibly be my last. Nice. And I'm, I'm at, at the age where I don't really care what I've been saying. So I've got that kind of freedom that yeah. you had when you were younger. I've got that now. Oh, that's but wonderful. But I'm obsessed for life. You Dance. appreciate your life. I live my life I know every exactly single day. I very nice. mean, because I had a stroke 10 years there ago, 11 years, and I learned to drive. Yeah, perfect. And perfect now example. this is why I yeah. don't stop. I just keep going because you might not be here tomorrow. That's exactly. I think that I every understand single day for you. 10 years. Yes, <laughs> I non-stop and I go out here and I'm going to clubs and I'm doing this. And he says, "Think about your age and what you've been through." Blow my age! Yeah. I'm living it while I can. Yes, yes sir. Yeah. And that was how I done it. Jen. Yes. Happy times. Happy times. Oh bless her. What are your happy times? I didn't have any happy times when I was young. Yeah. So I spent my life in children's homes, foster parents, and then I ran away. <laughs> I ran away from them. And so I went 
I went to school as a sister and that. Then I come down here and then I went to work in care homes in mental health. I've done it for 17 years and I was happy there. Because mm -hmm. they used to say, are you on tomorrow night? Are you on, are you on the weekend? I said, no. And they used to think it. But I loved it. It was a really lovely job. And then I've had a lot of happy times. And I've never been so happy when I got me flat. You know, a lot of friends, everything. Mm. Your happiness rubs off on us. Yeah. It really does. Does it's it? Infectious. Yeah, it really does. Yeah. yeah. I like Lovely. your cheekiness. Yeah. <laughs> but as, as a youngster, it was terrible. It, oh, it was awful. And yeah. so one night, I got, down, I got down on my hands and knees and crawled out with my foster parents and ran away. Mm. Oh. Yeah. So you appreciate in your life now. Oh, God, yeah. I only have to ask why I left. I want some out again. But I thought... Years ago, I wouldn't be able to buy a bottle of deodorant, never mind perfume. Yeah. And you, you can't remember the early days, I know. No, I've got one, because I was talking to my sister the other day on the phone. Okay. And my first, very first holiday we ever had was hot picking. Oh. Six weeks of hot picking. Wow. Hot picking, oh. didn't oh. it? <laughs> in Kent. In Kent, yeah. Yeah. Go to Kent. So there were summer holidays. Sorry, Hot picking. Remember. What was that like? Sorry. Tell us. And she was again. telling us that you know, we had to pull the vines down and... By the show, if you, if you wore clothes, they all got covered in green, and you couldn't get it out. So we had to wear like bare skin. Look, do you wear your trousers, but no, no top, no tops. Yeah. You put your mind, you get all green marks all over your bodies, right. and it's fantastic. All like snakes all over your body. It's oh, fantastic. Wow. And oh. while we're doing that, because um, we were old enough to do it, the youngsters went scrumping. Your mum used to take them scrumping. Your mum took them. Yeah, come back. Into the field with a skirt up full of apples. Uh, <laughs> 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 and the bloomers. Yeah, yeah, unbelievable. It, yeah, that was the first holiday that we ever had. Oh, it was hot that's nice. I went up the oh. second one was it took my all my family to the Isle of Wight. That was the f first holiday we really Where? had. The Isle of Wight. Oh, it was yeah, so the Isle of Wight. Yeah. We was on this bus up top, double mm. decker. We were sitting right in the front and we're going down this road. And there was these bungalows right in front of us. <laughs> and you couldn't see no, t no roads. Mm. And the bus was slowing down. It was just <laughs> straight at the bungalows. And we're all sitting there going, oh my God, oh my God. And as we got to there, we went like that. All the kids went, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. My mum was wetting her knickers. <laughs> 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 trees, yeah, yeah. Now through all these trees, backside. Oh, you're fantastic. There you go. Brilliant holiday. <laughs> That's my main for sharing. Yeah, very <laughs> good. And leaving us with a picture of your mum. Uh, <laughs> <wet yourself. laughs> um.
Raindrops on roses, on whiskers, on kittens. Bright copper kettles, on warm woolen mittens. Brown paper packages, tied up with strings. These are a few of my favorite things. Cream-colored ponies and crisp apple strudel Doorbells and sleigh bells and schnitzel with noodles Wild geese that fly with the moon on their wings These are a few of my favorite things When the dog bites, when the bee stings when I'm feeling sad, I simply remember my favorite things. And then I don't feel so bad. Girls in white dresses with blue satin sashes. Snowflakes that stay on my nose and eyelashes. A silver white winter that melts into spring.